out walk out of Alfie Birds and uh, I was desperate for an haircut, I was gonna have one tomorrow, but you know what? Barbers right next to it, Stag Barbers. Um check those guys out as well. They're on Twitter, the Twitter feeds in on the passenger seat right there. And uh, just just random, just a young lad who's um, happened to be working there that day. Just sat outside on like a deck chair as you as you do, and uh, it seems in Custom Factory that seems to be the do, done thing <laughs> on a sunny day. And it was, you know, I just you know, went just nipped in for a quick quick haircut, as you can see here, um, and uh, and he did my beard and all that, looking a lot neater, I think. And he did a bloody good job of it. And again, they're very reasonable as well to say they're in a sort of upmarket artsy area. Most places like that in cities are quite expensive. Those guys are really, you know, they're genuinely good service, nice people. And yeah, so I'm, you know, talking to, to Vaughan, who was cutting my hair. Hello, Vaughan, if you're watching this. I'm sure you are. Um, you've got a link to my channel. Um, good old Vaughan, he was a nice young lad. Again, very minimal, very friendly. Again, another worker at the Custom Factory that seemed to just really love being there and feel really lucky. So there you go. Um, what a top bloke. Had a good old chat. He was telling me about uh, where he's come from and uh, what he does. And he used to, weirdly enough, he used to lay tarmac down near uh, Eddie Stobar, down Stapleford, around, around the south side of Nottingham. Where, so I know where he, I know where he means. Sound like I did a bit of repping in, I think it was Falaraki. I've been there. Oh. Not my kind of area, I must admit. It was, uh, even, even when I was young, it's a bit too in your face. But if you're into that, check out Falaraki. Uh, lots to see and drink there. <laughs> and he just kind of, it was, turns out he's sharing a, uh, a flat apartment, whatever it is, in Falaraki, with some bloke who was, uh, a barber um, and he stumbled into it from there it seems and yeah Vaughan seemed to really enjoy his job and really like his lot in life especially given the sun as he was saying so uh, nice to meet you Vaughan uh, top bloke and shout out to Ben as well who's the um, owner of the barbers I believe he came in just, just as I was finished um, again another top bloke so go and check those guys out if you're in the area you need, you need a, a cut doing go and have a word with them tell them I sent you really um, and then have a pizza next door in the pub because it's awesome <laughs> so yeah uh, that's the uh, that's the custard factory seven shades of awesome also, I'll definitely be going back there I've been the missus um, probably go hit some of the bars around that area as well there's a couple of nice bars it seems um, Ben and Vaughan would tell me where they were so uh, check those out and uh, then move on to the mailbox which I've been to before although it was all shut and boarded up so there you go top tip don't waste your time <laughs> Well, there are bits of it open, but the shopping centre part, look, it's all being done up, it seems, because it's just like they've kind of boarded out like a tunnel through it that you can't see anything. It's kind of weird. So, um, that was a shame. But I went there really just because of the, for the photo ops, really, because it's right on the canal. Got some nice boats, um, some restaurants, and, you know, all the shiny, happy people hanging around there. So I've got some good photos there, they're on the passenger side right now. We also hit the BBC. And they've got a TARDIS! In the BBC it's like a proper prop TARDIS as well, I think it's like an old one that, that they might have used um, in the T Davis era or something. It, it looked pretty genuine, it looked uh, it was on casters and everything like it would be on the set from what I've seen set photos of so that's pretty cool and I hate selfies because I hate the fact that the front facing camera is always like 2 mega something stupid but definitely selfie next to the TARDIS mm, tardis -y goodness um, and all in all lovely lovely day really but that's it really um, 
bit of a boring vlog it was more it's more of a diary entry or something to the this one but uh, I just wanted to give big props out to the to the uh, custom factory and all those working there and the two in particular the the bar and the barbers that I talked about because I think that's half the journey isn't it it's going back to what I said on the last vlog if if you're truly happy in your work, and those guys genuinely did seem that in the, in the retro vintage shop, the bar, the, the, the barbers, even the corner shop that was there, you know, if, if you're genuinely happy about all that, the, then that's half the battle, isn't it? You know, doing what you enjoy. And I think those guys have got it. Yeah, it's, you know, it, it's it's a 9.5 and all that but it seemed if even just the air just because they're in a nice area maybe it um, seemed to make people feel better about themselves and it's definitely given me a lot to think about going, um, if you watch my previous vlog uh, car vlog you, you'll uh, know what I mean yeah definitely it's, it's, an, it's, it's something that I'm going to be taken away with me going forwards I think uh, given current life crisis that I feel that is impending so in incoming as it were <laughs> I'm sure I've been suffering with nothing but yeah big props to those guys have you been to the um, to those areas of Birmingham let me know uh, what are your thoughts on it is it cool is it pretentious is it eh be kind and let somebody in yeah let me know in the comments below um like and subscribe if you're watching this on youtube or you can watch it on my vlog which is movitmedia.wordpress.com until next time uh i'll see you in the next video come review come podcast come whatever else you, you see me on Tura. I like to move it, move it, bit, bit.